Hey guys, this is I, Troll at Ix with Rollout Reviews, bringing you another Crossfight Beat'em-On review. This time it is CBO2 One-Sided Sharks. We'll set this over here and take a quick look at the packaging. On the front you have a product image, his user down below, and the core up above. It is a rapid-fire type Beat'em-On. You got some stuff on this side, some stuff on that side, and some stuff on the back, including his stats. He has three power, three control, and six rapid-fire. Inside, you're going to get one standard beat armor and, well, a bunch of stuff, as well as his sticker sheet, which isn't too extensive, so feel free to apply those if you would like. Now, the rest of this review is basically going to be a comparison to the Hasbro version Lightning Fin, which I have already reviewed. At first glance, the only real difference here is the pre-applied stickers and the fins that have been dulled and rounded on the ends. They're a bit sharper over here. Of course, this version has the screwed together core and the trigger actually isn't all that elongated. It's a very similar scenario to Stroke Orochi where the trigger was already elongated so they didn't really do much else for the Hasbro version. You also have the cover in the back here, which is actually very snug and a little bit difficult to get off. A little more difficult, rather. But that is really it. So, let's do a power test, starting with the Hasbro version. Two point three two and two point four five. Now, for the Takara version. 2.17 and 2.23. So, a little bit weaker, but that is a good thing in this case because it's a rapid-fire type. Now, there is really only one thing you need to know when comparing these two beat on Which one you should get, if either. The Hasbro version has a fatal fatal flaw. The spacing on the Hasbro cores is a little bit different than the Takara versions. The space between where the arm attaches and the power block is a little bit longer for whatever reason, probably to make room for the retooling by having the uh, screw hole there. But in this guy's case, it, it kills the whole thing and kind of makes it garbage because you'll notice that there's nothing holding this in place. It just simply pegs to the back of the core, and that is it. It's very wobbly, and when you're firing it, it'll just pop right off. Now, I don't even like one-handed grips to begin with, and this is just awful. Absolutely terrible, and goes against everything it is there for. Now, the Takara version Thankfully, it does it so much better because, well, it actually does what it's supposed to. There's not as much space in between the arms and the power block, so the little tabs on the end of this actually fit underneath the head part. So when the head part is attached to the beat -em on this will not come off. And it's actually very, very solid, which is great. I'm going to be honest, now that I have a one-sided Sharks that has a solid grip on the back of it, this is probably my favorite one-handed grip. Now, I'm not going to say it's made me a lover of this way of holding a beat -em on but this is probably the best I've seen. Better than Chrome Zephyr, better than Knight Cavalry, and absolutely better than the Blast Arm, but that goes without saying. There's just something a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more, I don't know, cohesive about this one. Now, it still has the lingering problem with a one-handed grip. All of your weight, all of the focus in the balance is resting on the power block rather than where it should be on the feet. So it's still definitely a problem, but it's a lot more solid than the usual one-handed grip. Somebody was asking me how you were supposed to attach a wide magazine to this particular head part without breaking these little bits. 
I, I don't know. I don't have that problem at all. There's no signs of breakage on mine. It just goes on and comes off. So probably quality control on your end. So let's do a rapid fire test. Load them up. I find the best way to fire this is by putting your fingertips on the, the grip, not your whole fingers like this, and then putting the tip of your thumb on the trigger. And try to make it work the best way possible. It is a little bit uncomfortable just because of the way this is shaped. I have larger hands, so these little spikes kind of dig into my fingers. Not very good. Overall, is this better than the Hasbro version? Absolutely. If you want to complete your Crossfight collection, this is definitely the one to get, and there is no reason you should even consider the Hasbro version. But this still isn't a good beat -em on I cannot recommend this. There are so many better rapid fire types. Granted, this is the first rapid fire type in the crossfight line, and I am impressed that they managed to make a one-handed grip that I am okay with. But that's really all I can say for it. I'm okay with it, and uh, this is probably one of my least favorite crossfight beat-em-on. So that is about it, guys, and this is I, Troll at IX, signing off.